Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Jan Granny Jean, and I'm certainly hoping that the, the caretakers, the mammy, mommies and nannies and, and daddies uh, will um, play along with us and support the program, giving your child uh, the most benefit out of it. Uh, so here we go. You ready? <clears throat> and sing with me and drown me out. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Did you bring all your fingers today? Huh? Let me see them. I want to see your fingers. Here are mine. They're kind of bony and, and long and, and, and gnarly, but anyway, they're still fingers. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have 10 fingers, do you? Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give, who give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide, or your little mouth, but do not let them in. No, we don't put our fingers in our mouth, do we? No. <clears throat> Here we go. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. No, no, we don't want to do that. Just lost all my, all my muffins here. Oh, can't lose my muffins. No. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> we all know this song. So can you help Granny Jean sing it? Mm -hmm. The Itsy Bitsy Spider? Huh? Pretend you have a little spider in your hands and here it's going up the drain pipe. Hmm? <clears throat> oh, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now that little spider had a big brother. So he's got to make some noise when he goes up that drain pipe. So here, this is how we make the noise. Oh, the big, great big brother went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the brother out. <clears throat> out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the great big brother went up the spout again. Now they have a little teeny bee, little baby. And that baby doesn't make any noise at all. So the itsy bitsy baby went up the water. Well, Wizzy Wizard. Wizzy Wizard has a tip for us today, and it's an important one. And learning letters should be fun, it should be a game. And um, there are many ways in which you can do that with your children. Uh, and you can um, have them um, have form their bodies. In, in a configuration of letters, taking chalk on the sidewalk. And um, my idea uh, uh, of uh, shaving cream, um, you can use it on uh, um, right on a formica table if you have it, or, or maybe you'd rather have it on a tray and have them um, finger paint and incorporate some letters in that too. Well, all different ways in which to help your child recognize um, names and, and probably the letters of their name first. And that will always help. And so when they're taking the bath, maybe in the soap suds, so there's lots of different ways in which to um, help them. Maybe things that they're interested in and the letters that they start. <clears throat> well, I have here a poem by Carla Cuskin. 
in the flaky frosty morning, some mittens made a start. They rolled cold snow together and made my bottom part. And then they made me my middle with pushes, slaps, and punches. And then they left me headless and went in to have their lunches. Well stuffed and well rebundled, they stomped back snowily to wallop, whack, and pummel the rest of Frosty Me. My smile was made of candy. And my arms were fat and fat. They gave me button eyes, a nose, and topped me with a summer hat. A pot a passing father stopped to chat. Hello, he said. I like my hat upon your head. And then, before he turned to go, he tucked his scarf around my snow. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. That doesn't happen yet. Not yet. I stood an ice white statue then and glistened through the night. I watched the pale sun rise again. It touched my hat with early light. And now it casts a pleasant glow that warms my nose and melts my snow. I slip a bit. I dwindle. Droop. The sun will set on snowman soup. Snowman soup! <laughs> Isn't that fun? What happens when snow melts? It turns to water, right? Sure, that's why he's a puddle. <clears throat> well, I have this little fat snowman here. I think he's he is a um, he's a character in a book by Briggs. You might want to sometime take him out of the library. It's awfully cute. No words, just little um, pictures. And uh, it's very good for one-on-one. -on -one. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here is my broomstick, here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I melt away. Down, 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 whoops, I'm a puddle. Right? Sure, when the sun comes out. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here is my broomstick. Here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I melt away. Down, 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 down. Whoops, I'm a puddle. Oh my goodness, goodness sakes. <clears throat> well, let's see. This would be a great, oh, for heaven's sake, those, those muffins keep falling down. Oh, I see, the book is pushing them down. There we go. I think we're going to make some breakfast. How about some pancakes? Hmm? I think that's a great idea. Can you help me? Get out your eggs, get out your flour, get out your baking powder. Hmm? What else? What else goes into it? A little bit of milk maybe? Hmm? A little bit of sugar? Maybe some blueberries? Huh? So here we go. Let's get a big bowl. Get your bowl and get your spoon and come on, let's mix. Pretend you have a spoon. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pour it in the pan. Fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. Woo! You see it? I don't know. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pour it in the pan. 
Fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. Well, I did, didn't I? Ha uh ha. -huh. Who do we have here? We have a book about planes, but I'm not going to read this book today. But we're going to look at the back page. And what is that? Huh? Is that a rocket? That is a rocket. <clears throat> and this poem is by Jack Polutsky. And it's in the Ride of Purple Penguin book. <clears throat> Naughty little brown mouse whiskers on his face stowed aboard a rocket bound for outer space. They lifted off from Houston on Tuesday afternoon. The mouse ate cheese that Sunday in the mountains of the moon. Well, my goodness me, little mousy, little mousy. Little brown mouse, there he is. Gonna stow away on that rocket ship. <clears throat> Naughty little brown mouse, whiskers on his face, stowed aboard a rocket bound for outer space. Uh -huh. They lifted off from Houston on Tuesday afternoon. The mouse ate cheese that Sunday in the mountains of the moon. <laughs> Whoa, what a silly story. What a silly story. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> some of us have pets. Do you have a dog? Maybe a cat? Maybe Big Brother has a has an iguana or a hamster? Hmm? Yeah, well, this farmer's wife has three mice. One, two, three, right? Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? Three blind mice, three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice, three blind mice, three blind mice. Oh, what a good lady to feed the mice, huh? They've got to be pets, because I wouldn't be feeding mice if they weren't pets. Would you? I don't think so. Well, here is the little Miss Muppet. <coughs> and let's see if we can do this right. <coughs> Here's a little Miss Muppet. And let's pretend this pillow here is a tuffet. There we go. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. And what did we say that was? That's like yogurt. Right? Along came a spider. Whoops. Got it tangled up there. Come back there, spider. Along came a spider. Whoop, and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. I never know what you'll find in these old houses. Huh? Mm -hmm. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider, woo, and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Well, I don't blame her, especially when you're eating. You don't want to see a spider sitting there. No. <coughs> Oh, red sled. See the little red sled? Hmm? And this book is by Lita Judge. Red sled. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I see a boy all bundled up. 
in the snow. And it looks like he's had a fun day, right? He's had a fun day and he's walking home with his sled. But he was all by himself, right? And he's making noises with his feet in the snow. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. He's walking toward that little house. Hmm? Is that what he's doing? Looks like he's way out in the country, right? Well, there aren't too many children around to play with. And where did he park his sled? But by the door. Or I guess it's by the window. And then he went around the side there where the door is. And now it's getting dark out. Hmm? Who's coming peeping around the corner? But what is that? It's a bear. Hmm, he says, looking at the sled. Hmm. <clears throat> scrunch, 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 scrunch. He's taking the sled. Oh, the bear is taking the sled. He is having a good time sliding down the mountain. And who's that with him? A bunny. Is that fun? Oh, that's so much fun. And there's what? Moose looking on. Oh, that looks like fun. Alley -oop. And there they go down the mountain again. <laughs> and the moose is riding too. And the bear is up in the antlers. My goodness me. And off they go further down the mountain. Oh my goodness me, what's that? A little mouse? No, that's 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 them swishing down the mountain. And the possum is up in the tree and the raccoon. Hey, we want to ride too. Whoa! So they all pile on that little red sled and down the mountain they go. Whoa, whoa, the porcupine hangs on. Whoa, he says, this is fun. Look at all the friends that bear has. Wow, and look who comes uh, but hanging on to the porcupine, a mouse. Whoa, he says. Is he having fun too? Sure. And they all are just sliding down that mountain, having such a great time. Look, they're way up in the air too. Whee! Lump. And they're at the bottom. Boom. Oh, that's, that's so much fun. <laughs> oh, but look what the bear's doing. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. He's going to put the sled back. Now, is the little boy going to know that he rode it, do you think? We'll see. Ah, he comes out the next morning, but what does he see? Bear footprints. Oh, other rabbit footprints. Hmm, he says. Hmm. I wonder what happened here last night. So what does he do? He puts on his snowsuit at night and he's peeking out the window That's to see who's going to come. <laughs> and he saw the bear come and he's joining the fun. Look at that. Isn't that funny? The end. The little red sled. <clears throat> well, 
a snowy day is by Ezra Keats, right? And I think before we do that, I think we're going to play patty cake. What do you think? Huh? Some of our, <clears throat> some of our um, children out there, they have new babies. Oh, maybe they're in the high chair. So let's make your baby a, 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 a little cake, shall we? Come on, can you play patty cake with me? Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. Now, can you use your own initial of your name? Your mommy and your daddy or your nanny can help you. Sure, come on. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a hmm? an A, a C, an R, a Y. How about an, a B? And put it in the oven for Ella, Charlie, huh? Robbie, huh? how about that? And me. <clears throat> a snowy day by Ezra Keats. Now there's a little boy. He's not so little because he's out on the <clears throat> out on the street by without his mommy. So he must be a school child. Don't you think? I think so. <clears throat> the snowy day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Look at that. Out of his window, look at all those buildings. So he doesn't live in the country, does he? He lives in a city. <clears throat> After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. We have to be careful we don't slide down into the street, right? Very. Right. <clears throat> oh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out. Like that. He walked with his toes pointing in. Like that. You see? How different the footprints are. These are footprints. And here he's walking. Now he's going to point his toes out. Now he's going to point his toes in. <clears throat> then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. Look at that. Just one long track for each foot. Two tracks, right? And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. So here he is making three tracks. Right? It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. What's going to happen? Plop! Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Oh, and there he goes off. And what are those following him? But his footprints. His footprints. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight. But he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman. Look at that. And he made angels. Oh, maybe you can try that the next time we have a snowstorm. Hmm? You lay down in the grass and you move the snow and you move your arms and your feet to make the little angel. 
He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. So he's got to be in a park now, let me see. <clears throat> he picked up a handful of snow <clears throat> and another and still another and he packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his home, into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. It's a nice warm bath. And before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Now look at his coat. There's a big spot on it. What do you think that might be? Huh? I think the snowball melted, right? And it turned to water, right? And there he is in bed. <clears throat> While he slept, he dreamt the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Look at that. Wow. How fun. How fun. But <clears throat> well, do you know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man? Oh, do you know the muffin man that lives on Drury Lane? Well, yes, I know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man. Oh, yes, I know the muffin man that lives on Drury Lane. Well, do we know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Oh, do we know the Muffin Man that lives on Drury Lane? Well, yes, we know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Oh, yes, we know the Muffin Man that lives on Drury Lane. Yeah. Well, Granny Jean, I think it's gonna say goodbye to you now. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And maybe we'll have some more snow. I don't know. We'll see. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>